Well, I'm Margaret Nicholson. I'm the executive director of the Fulbright Commission in Belgium. Um, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Fulbright Alumni Association in Belgium. In fact, I believe, and I'm almost 99% sure, that the Belgian Alumni Association is the oldest alumni association. Ours was founded in 1952. The commission was founded in 1948. And the Fulbright program worldwide was started in 19, well, the, the legislation was signed in 1946. So I think we are the first alumni association in the world. Mm -hmm. the, our alumni association is incredibly active. It consists of the national committee with a national president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and a scholarship committee. In addition to the national officers, we also have the presidents of the local chapters, of which there are four, divided geographically across Belgium. The Alumni Association basically has no real legal status. It is what we call in Belgium une association de fait, so it's not legally recognized, but we do have our own bank accounts and we carry on all of our activities as an association de fait. Um, the Fulbright Alumni Association works very closely with the Fulbright Commission in terms of organizing events. For example, they will organize two or three times a year events for their members and for the American grantees in Belgium. And for the American grantees, this is a, a wonderful opportunity to see different parts of Belgium, um, meet Belgian alumni, and just pass a full Saturday seeing places and that they would not necessarily get to see on their own. And of course, in true Belgian st style, there's always a wonderful lunch, because food, of course, is very important in Belgium. In terms of the events that they organize, the organizers always try to make sure that, th that the events are self-sustaining, so that the cost to the alumni to participate will cover all of the costs. However, since the National Treasury is very healthy, if the costs exceed what the organizers expected, the National Treasurer will pick up the difference. Um, the Alumni Association is also um, involved in fundraising um, in two different ways. Um, for one thing, they do fundraising directly. Every year in November, the alumni send out the Thanksgiving Fund Drive letter, which is an annual appeal to the scholarship fund. And this fund is, in fact, housed at the King Baudouin Foundation, which is a philanthropic foundation in Belgium. And the advantage to working with the King Baudouin Foundation is that donations of 40 euros or more um, allow the uh, individual who has contributed to receive a certificate for tax purposes so he can write it off his or her taxes. So we do this every year. And then the money that comes in from the Thanksgiving Fund Drive goes into the Fulbright Alumni Association Fund at the King Baudouin Foundation. And then the money that is raised in that year with the fund drive uh, then is given out to Belgian students, Belgian graduate students, when we select them in the spring. So every year there are at least uh, two or three Belgian students who will receive a partial scholarship from the Fulbright Alumni Association. And we also have, at the time of selection, we always have at least one representative of the Alumni Association on the selection committee. That way they can pick the student that they feel is the most representative of Belgium, um, because we're always looking for students and scholars who will be good ambassadors. And of course, the Alumni Association is really interested in that part, because they're proud to be Fulbrighters, and they're proud to be alumni. The um, alumni also do fundraising in another way, which is a little bit unusual. Um, we have, every year in February, we have a call for annual dues for the members. And we have three categories of dues. Um, 
30 years or younger is 30 euros. Uh, 40 euros for those 60 or over. And then for everyone else, it's 50 euros a year. But we also have every year when the grantees come back and also in the newsletter, which comes out three times a year, um, a call for lifetime membership. And the lifetime membership is interesting in the sense that it is 500 euros. However, 300 euros goes to the King Baudouin Foundation for which they get a tax certificate, which at 300 euros, it's a very nice tax certificate. And then the other 200 euros goes into the account of the association itself. So this is, a, in a sense, a sort of backhand way of doing fundraising since 300 euros comes into the scholarship fund. And then also, although the annual dues, we ask those people to pay to the Alumni Association's account, those who are paying um, 40 or 50 will oftentimes just pay to the King Baudouin Foundation so that they can get the tax certificate. So of course all of this just serves to increase the amount of funds that are available for future students. Um, it, our Alumni Association is very, very active. We work very closely with them. In fact, as executive director, I serve on the National Committee as the National Secretary, so that I'm there um, for every meeting of the National Committee. Um, I prepare the minutes, um, I set up the meeting, and I contribute to the discussions. But it's very important, um, we believe, to have a close link between the Association and the Commission, uh, because the Association needs the support of the Commission the logistical support. For example, there's a, um, we do an alumni newsletter three times a year. Most of the ar articles are prepared by members of the alumni, um, but we um, put the newsletter together. And then the embassy prints it for us, and then the commission mails out the newsletter, either by email to those people who want to receive it by email, or in printed form. And so, this is a service that we give to the alumni, but of course they reimburse us for the postage costs. But this is, it's a nice way to work together. Uh, when we do a, an alumni event, for example, if it's a big event uh, and it's outside of Brussels, um, the commission will pay for the bus to get the American grantees in Brussels and any other, any other alumni living in, in the area who would prefer to take the bus rather than drive. So, but this is, we budget for this, but it works very, very well. And um, I think, um, you know, for those commissions that are just developing alumni associations or who are trying to improve how they work with their alumni associations, um, I think that we have a good model, and we would be very happy to provide anyone with more information on it.